So what is the best camera available today for HomeKit secure video? Today we're gonna discuss just that. Let's go. Yo, what's going on guys? Thanks for joining me today. Now for those new here, my name is Shane and on this channel I'm building an easy smart home using HomeKit. So uh, if that's something you're into, be sure to subscribe. We're dropping a new HomeKit video every week right here. Okay, so many of you guys have asked me about the Natatmo video camera, uh, wanting to see a review of that and everything. So I thought today, instead of doing just a straight up review, we're gonna talk about HomeKit Secure Video and uh, what is kind of the best camera. Now, if you still aren't really sure what HomeKit Secure Video is, what's the difference between a regular HomeKit camera, all that kind of stuff, be sure to check out my last video on that. I'll drop a link in the description below. That video basically goes over what is HomeKit Secure Video, uh, what it looks like, all the features and stuff in that video. Today we're gonna be looking primarily at the Natatmo indoor camera. We're gonna look at how it works with HomeKit and compare that to the Circle 2. Maybe you're in the market for a new camera and want something that works with HomeKit Secure Video. If that's the case, then this video is for you. We're gonna compare the two cameras side by side. We're gonna look at the features of each. Then we're gonna discuss how they work with HomeKit Secure Video so you can decide which one might be best for you. Now it is worth mentioning that earlier this week there were reports that the Eufy Cam 2 has started rolling out HomeKit Secure Video via a firmware update. So it was later stated by Eufy that this update was an internal human error and uh, their cameras are currently still in the certification process for HomeKit Secure Video. So that means the Eufy cameras do not, at the time of recording this video, support HomeKit Secure Video. So that currently leaves us with two cameras out there today that support HomeKit Secure Video at the time of recording this video. Now before we start, it's important for me to tell you guys that I did not pay for this camera. Uh, Natatmo actually sent me this camera so that I could do a review for you. I did not pay for it. I am not keeping it. I'm actually going to send it back once I'm done with my review. It's just a test unit that they provided to me. Of course, as always, I'm gonna be completely honest anyways and give it to you straight up. So just wanted to let you guys know and be completely transparent about that. All right, so let's go ahead and get right into the comparison of these two cameras. All right, so first up is the connection type. Uh, the Logitech Circle 2 supports Wi-Fi, whereas the Natatmo indoor camera supports Wi-Fi as well as Ethernet. So that is a great feature if you have Ethernet available uh, where you can hardwire this thing in, you're gonna have more reliable uh, video feeds and connection. So we'll put that as a plus on the Natatmo side. Okay, next, video storage options. The Circle 2 does not have any internal storage or anything like that. You have to record your footage to the cloud somehow. You either use their app or use HomeKit Secure Video and your footage is stored on the cloud. So we'll talk a little bit more about that in a minute regarding their app and stuff like that. Now the Natatmo indoor camera features onboard storage. There's no cloud storage. We'll go ahead and put that as another plus in the Natatmo side. The Natatmo features a micro SD card and the footage is stored on the micro SD card. They also have the ability for you to store your footage on your own Dropbox cloud, your personal Dropbox cloud, or your own FTP server. So that's really awesome. They're giving you the local storage options. They're also giving you the ability to upload and store your footage on your own personal cloud accounts, your Dropbox account. So that's really great. I like those options there that they give you. Now the field of view on the Circle 2 is 180 degree camera field of view. So that's a really wide angle lens that lets you see a whole lot. The Natatmo indoor camera only has a 130 degree field of view. So the Circle 2 wins in that category. Uh, however, 130 degrees is still a very wide angle, probably enough for most indoor uses. Uh, I actually had this thing in the middle of a very large kitchen, living room, dining room, open floor plan, and I could see just about everything 
uh, still with this 130 degree angle lens that comes with an Atatmo indoor camera. So not bad there. Audio, the Circle 2 features two-way audio. This is another one where the Circle 2 is going to win. The Natatmo only features one-way audio. So what that means is uh, if you're looking at your footage and stuff on your phone or whatever, it is recording that sound. You can hear the sound, but you can't talk back to somebody uh, on the other end of that camera. For example, if you're out and about, you can't talk to somebody who's at your house through that camera. The Circle 2 does give you that two-way audio. Now the mounting options, here's another one where the Circle 2 is going to win. You can pretty much mount this thing anywhere and they also offer available mounting options that you can get like a magnet mount, a window mount, things like that. The Natatmo, however, does not give you those options at all. They actually recommend that you put this thing on a table or a shelf, a flat surface between one and one and a half meters, three, which is three and a half to five feet. So. A lot more limited there on your mounting options uh, when it comes to the Natatmo camera. Both cameras feature night vision, um, as you would expect, so they both do that well. Now, both cameras also have a LED that shines when recording, so you'll know if the camera is recording. And both cameras also have the option to turn that off if you don't want that visible when recording. Now, additional HomeKit accessories. So uh, when you connect these things with HomeKit, you'll get additional accessories. The Circle 2, you also get a motion sensor that is exposed to HomeKit. With the Natatmo, you actually get a motion sensor and an occupancy sensor, both that get exposed to HomeKit. So you get the camera, motion sensor, and an occupancy sensor with the Natatmo. The Circle 2 is weatherproof. The Natatmo indoor camera obviously is not. It's an indoor camera. So there's another one if you're on the market and you need a video camera that's going to be outside and you have to have HomeKit secure video right now, you're probably going to want the Logitech Circle 2 because that's the only one that you can put outside that features HomeKit secure video at the moment. So this is kind of a big one. This one is will the app of the camera work with HomeKit secure video enabled? Uh, so as many of you know, we actually talked about it a little bit in the last video. The Logitech Circle 2 camera, if you enable HomeKit Secure Video, you cannot use the Circle 2 app anymore. So what that means is that the features and things like that that you get with the Circle 2 camera, maybe that you don't get with HomeKit Secure Video, such as like uh, zones and the day view. A lot of people are big fans of the day view. All that stuff you can't utilize anymore once you start using HomeKit Secure Video because you have to use one or the other. You cannot use them both at the moment. The Natatmo has kind of done things right. You are actually able to still use their app while using HomeKit Secure Video. So HomeKit Secure Video is great. You get a lot of great recording options. Uh, and capabilities there, but there's some things that these apps and these camera manufacturers give you that you can't do inside there. So you can utilize the facial recognition features, the profiles and things like that, which we're gonna talk more about in just a second. But you can utilize all that stuff in the Natetmo app and still use the HomeKit Secure feature at the same time. So uh, really like that. And next is the support. So how is the support for these two? So with the Circle 2, it's not looking too great. The Circle 2 wired camera, which is the only one that works with HomeKit Secure Video, seems to be unavailable recently. You can't purchase it from the Logitech website. It's unavailable on Best Buy and other places that normally sell it, like B&H Photo. So it may be discontinued. There really hasn't been much information about that, but it does seem at this point to be discontinued. There have been rumors that they may be releasing a new model, but there has been nothing said officially. They haven't said anything to me and I haven't seen or read anything that says so. Again, that's a rumor. Hopefully that's the case. I would imagine if they are releasing a new model, that it probably will work as good or better with HomeKit Secure Video. Maybe you'll be able to use the app and do some other things, I don't know. But currently that's the status on that. We don't really know. Logitech hasn't really said anything about what's going on with the Circle 2 camera. Uh, it does not seem to be in production and it's not available on their website anymore. So 
Uh, I don't know, take that for what it's worth, not sure what it means. Now on the other hand, the Natatmo, this HomeKit secure feature came out a little bit later. Uh, the Circle 2 was definitely the first ones to push it out, you know, tip my hat off to them for that. That was awesome. Natatmo seemed to hold back, wait a little bit longer, and I think that paid off for them because this seems to work really well with uh, HomeKit Secure Video. They have also confirmed that they will be releasing HomeKit Secure Video for their outdoor camera as well. So uh, they seem to be kind of going all in on this HomeKit Secure Video support, which really works well with like the local storage and everything. So the same things apply there with their outdoor cameras that features a floodlight and some other capabilities like motion zones and things. Uh, so if you'll be able to use those motion zones and their app with HomeKit Secure Video, that's going to be a really great thing. So uh, the support seems to be looking good from the Natatmo side. But I wanted to discuss how does the Natatmo actually record and process its footage. Uh, if you do want to utilize HomeKit Secure Video and the Natatmo app and its features, I wanted to really dig into how it's recording because one thing we really love as uh, HomeKit users, as, um, as fans of HomeKit Secure Video is the privacy. A big plus of HomeKit Secure Video is that all the footage is recorded and encrypted locally. So it kind of defeats the purpose to use a service where your footage is being sent to their servers and um, being stored on their servers or processed. So this camera does feature facial detection. So I wanted to find out how it's processing that on the Natatmo side. Is it going to their servers? Are they storing footage there when you're viewing it on your phone through the Natatmo app? Uh, is that coming from their servers? When it determines if it's a person or something else, where is it doing that processing? Is it processing that on their servers? So here's what I found out, and I'm gonna read this because I wanna make sure I get it right. This comes straight out of the Natatmo user guide and explains how the footage is processed. So this camera used to be called Welcome, so uh, it, they changed the name to the Natatmo Indoor Camera. It says, to detect events, Welcome processes in real time what it films. This video processing is done locally by Welcome. All recognition data and recorded video footage are stored on Welcome in the embedded SD card. Once an event is detected, the camera uses Wi-Fi or Ethernet to send information about the event to your personal Natatmo account. Time, type, and a small preview picture. This feeds your Welcome app's timeline. When you watch a video from the app, you are accessing it securely from the welcome camera onto your smartphone or computer. Now they say that no footage is stored on their servers and only you can access the footage. So again, when that camera detects uh, motion or if it's a person or anything, that processing apparently is all done on the Nintatmo indoor camera. When you're using the app on your phone and you're accessing those recordings through the Natatmo app, you are actually accessing the footage from your camera. That footage is apparently not on their servers at all. So that is really awesome. When I found out all this, I just immediately became more of a fan of this camera because again, a huge benefit to using HomeKit Secure Video is that your footage, the processing and all that is not done by some third party camera company um, and all your stuff is encrypted, local, and the Tatmo is kind of doing the same thing where all the processing and everything is done locally. So good job Natatmo on that. I really like the way they're handling that. Okay, so with that said, what are some of the benefits of using the Natatmo app? So a big feature that this camera has is the facial recognition. So you can get notified if a face is detected uh, versus, you know, pets and other things. And it can also detect specific people. Now, at first I found that was kind of a little bit creepy, but again, once you kind of look into how they're recording and processing, not, I didn't feel so bad about it. So the way it works is when the camera detects a new face, it'll tell you an unidentified person has been detected. You can then use that or you can just create a new profile. Uh, so you can create up to 32 profiles or different people 
in your Natatmo account. So say you make one for your spouse, your children, people who are in your house a lot, you can make different profiles on here. Now, throughout time, uh, the Natatmo is going to pick up people, different lighting situations and things, and it may say an unidentified person. If it's one of the people in your, in your profiles, you can just choose to identify the person and select which profile that person goes to. Now, I've only had this camera for a couple of weeks, but um, according to Natatmo, it can take up to two weeks to really build a full strength profile. So what you want to do is um, if it's identifying people, you know, your spouse or whatever, you keep on adding those notifications to that profile and over time that profile will strengthen and then the camera will just notice and know uh, if your spouse walks in, it'll know that's them. Now, one of the big benefits of this is that using facial recognition, you can determine when to record and store footage. So what you can do is you can actually disable recording and notifications for all familiar faces. So that means when people are walking about in your house that are your family, you can disable recording altogether and disable notifications. And so that way you'll only get notified and record clips when there's somebody who uh, shouldn't be in there. So that's a really cool option to have, uh, you know, your family and everybody can kind of relax without, you know, feeling like they're being watched or recorded all the time. So the Natatmo app has some cool features, definitely worth checking out. So how does all this work with HomeKit Secure Video? Well, in my last video, I went through HomeKit Secure Video step by step and showed all those uh, functions and capabilities. So it has all the same settings and stuff as we talked about last time, such as, you know, determine whether to record animals, vehicles, people, all the above. You can change the recording settings to be different for whether you're home or away, all that good stuff. Again, check out that last video if you wanna see what that looks like in detail. Now, one thing I did notice is that the recording seems to be a little bit more sensitive through HomeKit Secure Video. So it was recording uh, clips a lot more often with like the light changing and stuff like that. Whereas the Natatmo, uh, through the Natatmo app, seemed to be a little bit more accurate when recording motion uh, and not picking up those like false motions. Now, unfortunately, you can't change the sensitivity of that motion recording in uh, HomeKit Secure Video. Okay, so overall thoughts, uh, which camera is the best for HomeKit Secure Video? Now there are some cases where the Circle 2 camera would be best for HomeKit Secure Video. For example, if two-way audio is really essential, then you're gonna want this camera because the Natatmo only has one-way audio. If mounting options is really important, you may want the Circle 2 camera. Again, the Natatmo indoor camera doesn't have very good mounting options um, or any mounting options. If you want a HomeKit secure video to put outside, the Circle 2 is gonna be your best bet. Currently, it's the only weatherproof camera that supports HomeKit secure video. The Natatmo will be adding HomeKit secure video support to their outdoor camera eventually, but so far that hasn't happened yet. And currently the Circle 2 is the only one out there that you can put outside. Now Logitech definitely gets points for being the first to add HomeKit secure video support to their cameras, but the ability to use the Natatmo app in addition to HomeKit secure video, as well as the local storage options without having to go through any cloud storage or cloud processing, makes the Natatmo the winner in my book between these two cameras. Now I feel like Natatmo has implemented HomeKit Secure Video very well into their indoor camera. It seems to work really well with the internal storage and everything. And they said that they're gonna be bringing HomeKit Secure Video support to their outdoor camera too. And they've also announced a video doorbell a while back and uh, hopefully we'll see that hit the market maybe this year. I don't know, that would be great. Looking forward to seeing what else Natatmo does. So what about you guys? Is HomeKit Secure Video important to you? Um, are you on the market for a camera? What kind of features are important to you um, as far as HomeKit cameras go? I'm really curious to, to know what you guys think and 
what's important to you. For me personally, I love the HomeKit Secure video feature. Uh, I don't think I would be buying a new HomeKit camera today that did not at least promise to support that feature. And we all know how HomeKit promises go. Now there are some other cameras out there like the Eufy that have committed to bringing HomeKit secure video support to their cameras but haven't done it yet. So. Uh, hopefully there will be more of this in the future. If so, maybe we'll get some. We can test them out. I'll be able to show you guys and we can continue talking about this awesome feature that Apple brought us in HomeKit Secure Video. If you got something out of this video, please give it a thumbs up. I really do appreciate it and it does help out the channel. My name is Shane and I thank you guys so much for watching this video and for subscribing and following me along on this journey. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. I'm releasing new HomeKit videos every Sunday right here on this channel. We're building an easy, smart home. I wanna bring you guys along for the ride. Thanks so much for joining me, guys, and until next week, we'll see y'all later.